An issue that might be having an impact on student test scores as school districts around Oklahoma continue to deal with poverty in their communities. Fox 25's David Chasnoff spoke with some superintendents. David, how are they responding to this situation? Adam and Wendy, the poverty line varies across the state, but education leaders tell me they're doing everything they can to provide students with the proper resources. We wonder if kids, you know, the only meals they get are here. So we worry about him over the weekend. Coyle Public Schools Superintendent Colby Cagle says his district has a 40% poverty rate and 69% of students also qualify for a free and reduced lunch. We try to make sure we provide meals for them at school and, and have that safety, but until they get there, they're not learning. Cagle says this can lead to low test scores. A lot of times we find that our um, students that come from lower socioeconomic status start out behind and it's harder for them to catch up because their peers have their needs met. At El Reno Public Schools, Superintendent Matt Goucher says 75% of kids qualified for a free and reduced lunch last year, but he claims that has no connection to his district's test scores. We really try not to make any kind of excuses for test scores in El Reno. We, we try to own that and and improve our test scores to the best of our ability, regardless of where our students may be coming from. While districts may handle the situation differently, Jessica Dietrich with Hunger Free Oklahoma says poverty does have an impact on how a student's grades look. Those children likely have a lot of other stresses going on in their lives, so they may not have enough to eat. Their parents are working hard trying to make ends meet. And so their attention might be taken away from school and testing. It's why she believes school resources are essential to an education. Whether it's a child experiencing poverty or uh, just your average child in a school, those meals are so crucial in order for them to thrive and be the best they can be. And Dietrich tells me state lawmakers are working to address this. On Monday at the state capitol, there's going to be an interim study about free school lunches and report cards. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News.